Welcome back to Hightail everyone! Today I'm showing you a full step-by-step -step guide on how to set up a server for you and your friends to play on. This video is sponsored by Gportal, a server hosting site with a huge variety of game servers to choose from, including Hightail, and I've been using them for the last few years to host all of my community servers and absolutely loving them. So in this video, I'm going to set up a community Hightail server for you all, using Gportal and walk you through the entire process from start to finish. Now given that Hightail is still in pretty early access, I'm going to make this server 100% free to start with. And to join, just head over to my Discord server through the link in the description, and the rules and info on how to join will be waiting for you in there. So big thanks to Gportal for sponsoring this video, now let's get started. So to start out, go ahead and click my Gportal link in the description of this video or in the pinned comment, and that will allow you to save an additional 10% off on your server. And that includes any server you would like anytime, not just limited to the Hightail server. So that will bring you to the Gportal site here. Uh, you'll see right on the home page we have the Hightail server. It's currently 25% off until the end of this week. And my 10% discount will also stack on top of that 25% off. So you can either click here, or if it doesn't show up here for you, you can just click the To All Servers button here, scroll down a little bit, and search for the game. So we'll just type in Hightail, here it shows up. So we can click there to order now. And then it will have a few presets here. So if you're only having a few friends, you know, maybe 16 players at most, maybe the four gigabytes of RAM is fine. It's got the six gigs, the eight gigs, or we can create our own custom configuration, which is what I'm going to do because I want a lot more players on than what eight gigabytes can provide, assuming we could grow this server over time. So let me go ahead and click order now on the custom configuration, and you'll see my discount being applied at the top here if you clicked it through my link. So we'll get 32.5% off instead of the 25% off. So I'm going to use this RAM slider. And let's say 14 gigabytes of RAM is nicer for me. That should allow me to host close to 100 players on all at the same time and possibly even more as the game continues to become more optimized. I know Gportal has its recommendations down here. Uh, but it has to be on the very generous side for recommendations, um, just because that that's assuming like tons of mods, all kinds of other things. Uh, as we do more mods and things, I may need to raise the RAM. It does allow you to go up to 18. Uh, but based on the view distance and some of the other server settings I'm going to set that I'm going to show you in this video, uh, the 14 gigs of RAM with the G Portal uh, CPUs and things that they use should be sufficient for me. So you can choose to do as little as three days but I would recommend going higher. The higher you go and pay up front, the more you save as well. So for my servers personally, I will sometimes pay for the entire year up front because you can see as I start increasing, uh, the price doesn't you know, go times three, like 30 times three for 90. The 30 day price is the 23 and the 90 day price is 63. So it starts saving a little bit of money. And now we go to the 180 and it's only 120. So it's kind of saving just a little bit. Uh, and 180, I think, is what I'm going to do to start with, actually. This seems like a good bet that I'll give quite a few days to be trying out this server. Uh, kind of, you know, test some things up it if I need, uh, adjust the RAM if I need later on. So and then you can also select down here the available locations. I'm going to put mine in Dallas, uh, Texas. Pretty central to the US, seems to have really low ping and uh, be really good for my community, but you can always change these around depending on what works for your community or your main audience if you're from other countries and such. So I will go ahead and select that, and then we can go ahead and click continue here. And then that will bring us to the payment page. You can link your PayPal or credit card or anything you would like to pay here. Uh, I have some balance in my account and you can also just uh, credit your account from your PayPal and things uh, for G Portal for your servers to automatically uh, renew and things like that. So I'm gonna use my balance so I can just click order with my balance here. And then there we go, product has been activated. And here we are, the Hightail US Mid server by G Portal. It's as simple as that. And this is the homepage for the server, uh, it'll auto default to the status page here where you can choose to stop and start it 
Um, we have the FTP, so these are where you can use something like FileZilla and transfer all of your files for worlds or things along those lines, be able to see all of that in your server. The main IP address for your server will be right up in here. And again, this information will be in the Discord server if you'd like to join this uh, Hightail server here. And then down here, you've got verify game files, uh, delete all save games, and all of that good stuff. So this is the first page. Then on the left here, you can go down to basic settings. And this is where you can choose some of your things like the server name. We could just do a uh, chisel chip for the server name there. We could set a password. So I'll just do test. Uh, it'll be different. So do check in the discord maximum players. But yeah, it allows you to go all the way up to 200, assuming you have your memory slider on the higher end and pay for enough RAM to make that work. Um, and then max view radius, I'm going to start that at 10. Uh, that'll be the view distance that the players can have. The more players that you have on, uh, I'd recommend lowering this number a little bit. I wouldn't really go lower than like five or six just because that's going to start looking really close, like the world is just really foggy for them and they're not going to see very far, uh, which could work if you've got like mini games and such, because that's going to use way less RAM uh, and you can have way more players on. 10 should be a pretty good view distance here for people to start. And if we have 200 players on, let's say, I could lower this down to like an eight or a seven or something and try that. So those will be my settings here. I can just click save. And then down in here, you will see the file manager where we have license, assets, all of this stuff. This will start populating with files as we start our server up. You also have your logs on the left here, the console where you can type in commands, for example. So if I want to make myself an operator of the server to be able to use commands within the server, I can do that within this console here. And then you also have all of your mods where you can literally even just search for a mod and put it right in the game, uh, which is super convenient. But I'll also show you how to sort of manually uh, transfer your files and things. Say you want to take your single player world from your computer and bring it over to G portal to host it. I will show you that as well. So let's go to the status page. I'm going to go ahead and click start here. And it's going to load up my server. It's already on because Hightail servers are really, really easy to run. And then I'm just going to go ahead and copy this IP and then use the password test that I uh, that I set it to in the basic settings. And I'm going to go launch up Hightail and show you that we can go ahead and join the server. So here we are on the Hightail home screen. And to the left, you will see servers. We'll go ahead and click that. And then you can either click the direct connect and just put the IP in here and connect and then it'll ask you for the password. Or if you want to add it to your list of favorites here, you can just go to add server. We are going to paste the IP address in there and then we can give it a name, any name you'd like. So I'll just name this uh, chip right now. Name it whatever uh, is familiar for you. It doesn't matter the name. And we're just going to hit add server. So now you'll see it show up in the favorites. All you got to do is either right click to edit the server if you want to edit or remove it, or you can just double click and that will go ahead and join it and then ask us for a password. So I will just put tests in here and then click log in and it's going to prepare the world, load the chunks. And here we are in the world. It is really fast. And this is awesome. So if I open my map, I am on 33 milliseconds ping, which is great. And one out of 200 here at the top left is the player limit for this specific world. So I am officially the first person to be in this server. So now let me go back over to G portal and then show you how to sort of manage your files or how to transfer worlds and files. So here we are back on G portal. And if we go to our file manager, now that the server has restarted, we now see more files. We've got logs, mods, assets, all kinds of stuff in here. And I will show you how these files right here match up pretty closely with our world files that are stored locally for Hightail. So I'll show you how to access those from the Hightail launcher here soon. But I wanted to show you a few more things while we're on here. You can also set automatic restarts for your server. 
You can do backups for your server. Uh, storage is limited to 50 gigabytes. After 60 days, the backups will be deleted. Uh, but yeah, 50 gigabytes of backup space is a lot of backups, which is really cool that you can create some of those and then launch it from backups. You'll have your permissions here, so you can add other uh, users with a G Portal ID to uh, add moderators or admins to your server, which is really cool. And then also support. They have really great customer support, the wiki and their Discord server. So yeah, in the file manager here, this is where you can create new files and upload files, things like that. But I really recommend going into the uh, status here and then in the access data section, these are what you'll want to use to sort of have like an FTP connection to your server in order to access and edit all of the files in a much easier way. So to see your local files, assuming you have a single player world started up in Hightail and you want to move it to a server, on the launcher homepage, you'll want to go to the top left and click settings. And then you'll see open directory here. Just go ahead and click that. And that now brings you to your keys, your install, user data, all of this stuff in this folder. What you'll want to do here is click on the user data folder. So double click there. And then down here, we can see saves and also mods, logs, all of that good stuff. But we'll go to saves. And then you can see I have a couple of single player worlds here. So I'll click on a single player world and these are your files that you will want to bring into G Portal. You've got your logs, your mods, and all of your files related to that save, which match up with your G Portal files. So I have now opened FileZilla, which is my FTP connection of choice here. I can put the IP in for the host, the username, the password, and the port. These are all going to be blurred out, obviously. And then we can hit the Quick Connect over here. And then that will establish here. Server does not support FTP over TLS. This is fine. So we can just hit OK. And that will open up our directory. So we've got our logs, our mods, our universe, our assets. You can see that's the same as your logs, mods, universe, all of that good stuff in here, our bands. So these are our files. So if we like open our mods folder, this is where we could, for example, drag mods from our desktop uh, right here. And then we could just drag them right over in to our server and copy them over. Uh, you can also, you'll see at the bottom, your files transferred, successful transfers. So you'll know uh, when things are transferred. And on the left here, again, this is blurred out just in case there's any sensitive information over here. But on the left here, you will see all of your local files. So you can also just browse your files from in here. Don't even need to open the file explorer on your computer and just drag things over, copy things, make backups that are local of your server, and all of that good stuff. So that is how you transfer saves between local and your server, and all of the above. So I hope this video helped you out. Another big thanks to GPortal for sponsoring this video. And as I mentioned, be sure to join my Discord server so that you can be a part of our new community Hightail server. And of course, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Cheers.